Why do bananas wear sunscreen when they go swimming? Because they might peel. It's straw time! With Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw! Well, hello and welcome back to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. This is day number two of Swimming Week, and today we're going to be drawing a bottle of sunscreen or sunblock. And it's important to wear sunblock when you go swimming so that you don't get a sunburn. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, today we're drawing a bottle of sunblock. So I'm going to start off with the, the top of the bottle where the lid is, and I'm going to start with an oval shape. And then I'm going to make two lines that slant in just a little bit on the sides. This is a like a flip top lid. So that's what that is. A second line there is a curve. Then the cap goes further down on each end. And I'm going to put a curve down like this, like it's coming out at it. So it makes it look more 3D. This bottle is going to have some ridges along the edge around the side here. So that I'm drawing some vertical lines for that. And then I'm going to make the uh, top part of the bottle. It's going to be a wider bottle, and then uh, it's, it's actually kind of skinnier, narrower, but we won't be able to tell that exactly by looking at it from this side. But I'm going to draw the, the sides of the bottle slope down at first, and then there's kind of a curve here as the front part of the bottle comes out at us a little bit. Okay, and then the next part, the sides of it, are going to actually start off a little narrow and get wider as they go down. This, I guess this would keep the bottle from flipping over when it's sitting on a table. Uh, might be the purpose of the design, but uh, for the look of it, that's what we're going to do. We're going to slant down. We get down so far for the bottom of the bottle, I'm just going to make a curve down here. And so this is the basic shape of the bottle. And now we're going to add a few details to that. You might have to work with the corner to get it the way you want it. Okay, so here's my bottle. Now I'm going to put a label on it. So I'm going to put two lines that are parallel with the outside edge. They may not be perfectly straight up and down, but they'll match the uh, slant or the slope of the outside of the bottle. And then I'm going to make a curve at the top of the label. and a curve at the bottom. Now on the label itself you can do your own thing, whatever you want to put on there. I'm going to write, actually put a picture of a sun right here in the middle. And on my sons I always put sunglasses. I don't know why, I just think that looks cool. I'm going to put a sunglasses on him. And I'm going to give him a little nose and a big smile. And then the rays of the sun going all the way around. Just kind of zigzag. You can do that however you want, just straight lines or, or curved lines. Um, so there's the sun. I'm going to write the word sun block. S U N, and then block at the bottom. And then I'm going to cover that sun with the universal symbol for no, which is a circle. Usually it's in red. And then the way you can remember the which way the slant goes is that it goes the same way as a letter N would. So it's like an N and an O combined. So that means no sun. Okay, so this is our drawing for today. A bottle of sunblock. Okay, now that we know how to draw a bottle of sunblock, let's take that and see how we can add it to the big picture. Well, here's what the big picture looks like so far. I've started to add some color in the background, and today I added the drawing that we did to the foreground. So I want to take a closer look at that. Okay, here we see a mother sitting in her chair, uh, supervising the kids. She's got a glass of lemonade, and there's on the table next to her is a big, giant, family-sized bottle of sunblock. And she's already lathered the kids up and let them go swimming. So she's just sitting here watching them swim. So that's our big picture for today. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back tomorrow. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Summer, 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 summer. Oh yeah, that's a keeper.